Right, well, I finally put together the footage of beautiful Cornwall. It's stunning, isn't it? And, and this video will concentrate on the Eden Project. Um, but first of all, I'll just show you some um, stunning scenes of the sea, some views, absolutely beautiful. Uh, my daughter took some of these when they went out on a walk with um, their dog, M uh, Mabel. The sea is so blue. It, it's so gorgeous down there. When you go down there and you get good weather, you wonder why ever, anybody ever wants to go abroad. It's so lovely. Absolutely stunning views. Here we are in Padstow. Um, the weather wasn't quite as good when we went to Padstow. It wasn't bad, but it was um, very cloudy. Um, but it, it cooled it down a little bit because it was warm. Uh, th this is just, we walk around some of the beautiful streets. There's some lovely little shops there um, and little cafes. Uh, oh, we just saw this van uh, advertising Padstow Gin. Lovely little areas. This was a nice little boutique that we went past. My family's not shoppers, so I didn't go in. This was Paul Ainsworth's number six restaurant. If you remember, we went to Paul Ainsworth's um, um, at Rock. Um, it, it was a pub that he had called the Mariners. Uh, but this is his actual restaurant. But. It, it was it the menu looked stunning but it was far too expensive for us you know i think it was well over a hundred pound i think it was about a hundred and something pound um you know so um but it looked lovely the streets are all lovely in padstow i have been once before i went um many years ago um on the spring bank holiday monday when they have like a festival there uh, it was really good. This is a shop of Rick Stein's. We did actually go in there and this was a lovely pub. I just had to take the pictures because the flowers were so beautiful. And it was stunning. There's a lot of properties that seem to be owned by Rick Stein. Um, you know, as you wander around there. This is the harbour. You can see the black clouds. We were lucky though, because it didn't rain at all. This is Betsy in a pram. We had to order the pram, do you remember me telling you? It was too much walking for her. She is 13. And there's Mabel. She enjoyed the walking. Betsy liked a pram though. She did. These are the boats on the harbour. It's like a one-way system for the traffic ramp, Padstow. Uh, quite confusing and it, it's awkward to park. Um, you know, you have to park. It's, it's a walk away from where you, you know, it's quite a walk to the car park. So be warned, you know, if you're bad at walking. It's very pretty, but it was very, very busy. Um, you know, obviously it's a big tourist attraction.
The streets were absolutely packed. Some cute little shops there were. And you see the blue building over there. Well, that's Clough Bakery. Um, now, my family all got themselves a Cornish pasty from there. So here we are at the beautiful Eden Project. Uh, the Eden Project, it's at St Hostel in Cornwall. And it's built um, in an old china clay quarry. Um, you can't see it from the distance and it's, um, well, they like, I think they're called bios or something, but I'll call them domes because I don't really know that I'm pronouncing that right. These domes, um, they, they're built in the quarry, you can't see them from a distance and they're recreating, um, well, one is um, the rainforest. You go in uh, the main one, the big one, um, it's recreating a rainforest. So you, you go in and you see all the plants and what would be in a rainforest. And then um, the other one is uh, a Mediterranean dome. Um, and then there's some educational ones as well. Um, we didn't actually go in those. It's amazing um, how long it takes um, just going round them because it's so beautiful. Um, and there's so much to see. Um, it takes you quite a while to get down from the car park, but I do think if you're disabled, uh, you can park nearer. And there is like a little transport system that takes you. It's like um, a big golf buggy that would take you back to the car park if you had walking difficulties. Um, from a distance, you can't see it because it's set right in the valley. It's absolutely stunning. This is where, where, where you first go in, uh, what you just saw then, and, and where I'm filming from. Um, it, it was like, um, the, there's a big like cafe type of place. We'd been for a coffee, and then we just came out onto the terrace, because you see the beautiful views. It was such a beautiful day. We were so lucky with the weather. Uh, it was, we pre-booked to go, I think it's £38, but for that £38 I think you can go as many times as you want in a year, which if you live nearby that's fine, but obviously if you live like some distance away like we do, you're only going to use it once, but it's nice that you know other people can go back. Now there was a zip wire that went right across uh, the valley. I did keep trying to film it. Um, I think I did get some people eventually. But <laughs> I think this is where they set off from. It was very high up actually. As you walk down uh, actually to the domes, uh, it's be oh, I think this is me trying to film the zip wire. I probably didn't get anything. The people were very brave going on it, I might add, because it, it doesn't look very high up, but it was. But it must be a fantastic view from there if that's your, you know, if you like that thing. I know my friend Sandy would have wanted to go on it. There you are. Can you see there's a couple of people going on it there? It must be a lovely view. Not for me, though. It was lovely walking down. You can see um, you have to walk down into the valley or quarry or whatever you want to say. And on the way down, there were some beautiful uh, flowers and plants and lots of information, mainly about how we're ruining our planet ourselves and, and what to do to save it. Because there are fewer and fewer rainforests now. This was the quarry as it was in 1999 when they started building it. All the lights distorted it there. But it's quite informative this.
I mean, what an achievement. They are building another one um, not far from us at Nork uh, Morecambe. Um, it's about probably about 50 minutes away from where I live. And um, that's going to be focused on marine life, I think. Um, I think it's going to be on the seafront. Hopefully it will take a lot of tourists to the area. It really is stunning. There's so much plants, plantation around and trees and it's lovely. I suppose if it was raining, you get a completely different aspect on it. But there again, it probably would be more realistic of a rainforest. We didn't take Betsy and Mabel because you can't take them in. You can take dogs on the outside areas, but you can't take them in the domes. So they had a little rest back at the accommodation. So this is telling you um, all about um, basically how we're spoiling our planet. You know, what we need to do. We will eventually get in the domes, honestly. I got a bit carried away with the flowers, I think. And I have edited loads of it out. They were beautiful, those white flowers. This was like a great big uh, bee. It was made out of wood. And these were some beehives. Right, we've actually gone inside now. You don't actually realise that you're inside. Um, it's oh, bi biomes, they're called. You don't really realise you're inside. You would think you was outside.
in the Mediterranean dome. Um, this, um, as you can see, it's just like being in the Mediterranean. Um, even music that was playing uh, and there was a Mediterranean restaurant it was lovely oh look at the bougainvillea now I bought one for my garden whether it will survive the winter I don't know I actually got it earlier in the year from Lidl obviously it's okay at the moment but we'll have to see it probably won't survive our winters they are beautiful though aren't they It was really lovely in here. You know, just a bit of a change from the rainforest. The rainforest is my favourite though. When I came before, I can't remember the Mediterranean uh, dome, so whether this is a new one, I, I don't know. at the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's just a little bit different. <laughs>